what is up guys how's everybody doing i am tiff welcome back to my channel if you are new welcome make sure you're subscribed so you know when all my future readings come out this is going to be a general reading it's not going to resonate for everybody take what resonates leave what doesn't don't force it to fit your situation if you would like a personal all that information is in the description box below spirit ancestors and guides can we get what's going on within the collective connection at this time spirit ancestors and and guys let's see what is going on let's get some overall energies at this time anxiety oh my gosh if you didn't watch the last reading watch it because this anxiety this worry this stress is all over whoever you're dealing with energy with your energy this is a feminine on this card somebody really is upset stressed worried okay yeah sitting at home it's almost like as soon as as long as you're working as long as you're pushing through your passing time you ain't so much in your feelings or worried about this situation but it's like soon as you get home and you start to decompress and you're alone in your own thoughts it's almost like that's when this anxiety and that's when this worry starts to kick in here between the line oh my god spirit come through if you guys did not watch that last reading look what's between the lines because in that last reading it says look for what's hidden there's definitely something being hidden from from you man and that came up in the last reading so this energy could be boiling over um it's almost like this person this divine feminine she's anxious she's worried she feels like there's something being hidden from her and she is definitely trying to figure out what this is yeah what you don't see is that somebody is lying keeping secrets okay that's for sure somebody is definitely lying somebody's definitely keeping secrets okay i feel like you know this i feel like you're ready for change you're ready to move away from this situation i feel like you're at that point where it just stresses you out too much you know you're supposed to go home and feel that sense of comfort in that sense of you know peace when you come home but it's almost like you don't feel this you could live with this person okay i'm just saying you could live with this person that's not for everybody but it's almost like you know you're supposed to go home and feel that sense of peace that sense of you know but i feel like you're not getting that i feel like you know something's off about this person okay and you know that they're lying and keeping secrets from you I feel like you could be tired of this journey. It's almost like this is bringing you more stress than happiness, okay? So it's almost just like, you know, maybe it's time for me to move on. Maybe it's time for me to move forward with change and transitions. Like, because whatever this relationship is, it puts you through a lot. It changed who you are as a person. It changed how you view the world. It changed, you know, everything about you, all right? Whatever this, this situation did. And I feel like what this person is, you're glowing up. I definitely feel like you could be dealing with somebody that is not meant for you. I'm just going to be honest. You could have held on to this person for quite some time. I feel like this is definitely somebody that you could live with. You've held on to for a long time. I feel like spirit has definitely been trying to push you towards letting this person go. Karmics are very, very hard to let go of. Okay. They ran over from your past lifetime too. So they know how to manipulate you. They know how to, it's almost like false twin flame. They'll make you think that they're your twin flame and it's not. It's really, you know, they've dealt with you in a past life too. They know your soul for a long time the same way as you, your twin flame or whatever, right? I feel like this is somebody you're you're transitioning no you're changing so you're leveling up to the point where you're seeing i don't have to deal with this bullshit no more i don't deserve this i deserve to be happy i deserve to feel real love i deserve to come home and be able to relax and not worry about fighting and arguing every motherfucking day i don't need to be sitting here at work stressing about what you're doing who you're with you know knowing you're lying knowing you're keeping secrets from me there's definitely an energy with this divine feminine shifting okay and this is beautiful because it's a shift in your energy where at one time you might have put up with certain shit and you might have let certain shit slide you ain't letting that shit slide no more you're not putting up with that same shit no more and people call you difficult or say you trying to start shit or you always trying to argue no i'm not accepting that low vibrational bullshit anymore 
And I feel like it's beautiful because you're transitioning into the best version of yourself. And if you've got to cut people off to get there, baby, go on ahead and motherfucking do it. it ain't, it's only going to hurt for a little while. And that's why I do these readings. Because even when we talk about the karmics in some relationships here, it's like, okay, if this karmic can even see that this masculine isn't good for her, they could both separate and this karmic will find their true love. And that's why it's like, okay, we've all been karmics to somebody. Don't motherfucking feel bad. I was with my karmic. My kid's dad was my karmic. You know, I was, I, it took me 14 years to get out of that abusive, toxic situation, okay? But it, you can do it. It's okay. Um, it's a, we've all been karmics to somebody. And I feel like here, it's almost like you're transitioning into a place where you're realizing that that's not, this, this ain't for you. This person's not for you. This person will never change all the hope you've held on to. Throw that shit out the motherfucking window. Because now we're coming into a time where we doing what's best for us. If me and my kids got to leave and struggle from the bottom, trust and believe, you'll make it out of there. You'll make, it's temporary. Everything is temporary, okay? But this I'm seeing is a situation that is just almost torture. It's almost torture for somebody to go home. It's torture, you know, it's like, damn, no. Then on top of that, you know, you could be at work all day. This person's over here lying, keeping secrets, doing shit while you're working your ass off to keep the house together. It's not fair to you. This is not living happily. This You don't motherfucking, you know, kill yourself to try to make a relationship work. And I feel like this is what's happening here. I feel like you've really lost a sense of yourself here within this relationship. You've lost who you are. You've lost that, uh, that sense of, I am the shit and I don't care what no... You know, it's like that's that energy that your guides want you to come back into. Because through this connection... You've lost a sense of yourself, you know, mm -mm. they want you to let go. They want you to cut ties. You're transitioning, you're changing, your energy is shifting. You're stepping into the best times of your motherfucking life. But you got to cut those anchors. You got to cut those ties. You got to let that dead weight go in order to move forward towards your true happiness and abundance. You know, it's hard to hear. It sucks to hear. Most people click off halfway through. When they hear like, oh, I might be the karmic or this might not. No, but if this is resonating for you, please take heed. Please take heed, okay? Please take heed. We have text message, broken trust. So, wow, cheating, broken trust. Mm-hmm. So somebody got caught through text messages cheating, okay? I feel like you know this person's lying. You know that they are keeping secrets. You went through this person's phone and you found text messages. You found that they were cheating on you. This person could have even sent the, the message to the wrong person. I'm just going to be honest. This ain't for everybody. Like they could have been thinking that they were texting whoever they were cheating on you with, but they accidentally texted you. That's not for everybody. But there's definitely here this situation. Somebody done went through somebody's phone and found out that they were cheating and broke broke somebody's trust completely. Okay? I feel like if you were to go to, through this person's phone today and said, hey, let me go through your phone, um, you will see exactly what this person has going on. I don't feel like this person deletes anything or tries to cover up their tracks. I feel like it's almost because... I feel like this has happened in the past. Like, you know what this person is. You know this person is full of shit. And they're not... This person is very unawoken. And I'm just going to be real with you. And, you know, don't judge me. But it's almost like some of us are here as karmics for life. To learn lessons for ourselves. So in our next life we can... And it's almost like this person is very unawoke. And it's almost like this isn't a lifetime for their spiritual awakening. I'm just going to be honest, okay? This is what I'm seeing here. I'm not seeing that spiritual awakening in this lifetime at all, okay? Um, 
they might end up meeting their counterpart and leveling up or you can hang on to them and you know you know when something's not good for you god is going to continue to make it worse and worse and worse to continue to hurt you until you realize like damn let go you know and it's all for your own good spirits doing that shit for your own good wondering why you're going through that wondering why you hurting like that you hurting like that because this person is not for you and god and then spirit guides and your ancestors they've been trying to pull you away from this person for your own good and you're fighting it and you're hanging on and you have hope you're gonna i'm just coming to you as your friend okay i'm coming I'm, i might be a reader but i look at you guys like my friends my family my soul tribe we've been brought together for a reason okay this everything everything aligns for a reason and i'm telling you you're gonna keep hurting yourself more and more and more until you let this situation go and when you let it go it's gonna hurt like a motherfucker it is it's gonna hurt but it's only gonna be temporary in a month you'll stop thinking about it so much in two months you'll start looking back and feeling that happiness and that vibe within yourself in six months you'll look back at that shit like why in the fuck did i ever put up with that shit for as long as i did and realizing I'm so much more than everything that I done let myself go through. And then you'll start going through those motions of being hard on yourself. Why did I let myself? But you know, that's where that self-love journey comes in. And this is where you're where you're you're moving towards. As long as you let go of this karmic situation, okay? Yeah, interference, third party, mm, the reconciliation. So let me just say, I definitely feel like, okay. You felt like this is your soulmate. If you have children with this person, that could be why. Like, you had a kid with this person. Y'all had a family. You know, you felt like, okay, well, maybe we're meant to be together. That's not for everybody. But here, we have the divine feminine, third-party interference, reconciliation, and rebuild. So here they come. There's definitely third-party interference involved. But it's like they're, they're going to continuously run back to you to reconcile, to rebuild this. They're going to continuously put this beautiful divine feminine in these third-party situations. And then coming back wanting to fuck you down. Because you see how he's coming in to reconcile and rebuild? That's that devil energy. They're coming using that sexual magic on you to draw you back into their fucking energy. And then here everything's good. It's like nothing ever happened. No. Okay? This person's going to keep doing this to you. They're going to continue to have this beautiful divine feminine. Like it's like this divine feminine is, it hasn't stepped into that true glow yet. Why? Because she's being dampered by this bullshit here. By steadily reconciling and rebuilding. And what you're doing when you're rebuilding this person up. You're not rebuilding the connection. Like intuitively you know that. You're building this person up. So that they can turn around and let you down. Then when this shit happens again. You're going to be left alone building yourself up. They're going to come back to reconcile and rebuild. You're going to build their ass up again. And they're going to turn around and let you the fuck down. I gotta be honest, like that's what I'm saying, and I want you guys to step into that beautiful empress energy that you guys are all meant to be here for, and in, in sometimes whether it be your mom, your dad, your brother, your cousin, I don't give a damn, if they're toxic, if they're karmic, cut these motherfuckers off, cut them off, you don't have to feel bad, okay, alright, that's what I have for you guys, that resonates at all, comment below, let me know. Until next time, loves. Peace.